This is Jordan Stalberth in World Captured. This is the start of a series of videos on everything filmmaking. We will be going through everything from raw footage to post-production. To start everything off, I will be making a series of videos on After Effects, and we'll see where we go from there. So subscribe for more awesome videos and check out our channel World Captured for awesome videos also. So to start, we'll dive straight into After Effects. This is what you see when when you when you first open After Effects. You have the project panel on the left over here you have the timeline on the bottom you have the the viewer panel in the middle over here and you have your effects and anything else and other stuff over here so we're going to start by importing some raw footage and I'll, you just double click that little area over there um we'll go to this folder and we'll just import this stuff so this is just a folder with um, some footage i have from our last video uh, get mugged So, so now to make, to take your footage, you have to make a new composition. Now, After Effects works and it has, uses composition. So each composition is like in itself, its own project sort of, and you can put compositions in other compositions and it gets a little complicated, but that's how you will be working with, with comps and it's, it's, it's a good way of doing stuff, but that's how it works. So to make a new comp, you can either go up to the composition over here. Click that, hold on one second. Um, new composition. And you could put all your settings in here, whatever your thing was, or you could go to some presets and stuff like that and say your duration. Or the way I do it is I'll just take some of this video and you go down to this little new comp icon and it'll just make a new composition to the specified settings of that video. Now you have this video here and you can resize it the way you want. So let's say we want to start here. We'll just resize that. And we want it to end here. We'll just drag that in. And you can move it to the beginning. Um, now we have to start by bringing in another video, another angle, let's say. And we'll just bring in another angle over here. Just bring it in right there. Um, so then we'll just look. We'll go to where we start. Okay, okay. Here we go. And a little trick to cut it to where you're the time marker is you can either click you can click option opening bracket and it'll just cut it right there and then you could just bring the time marker to where you want and then just click opening bracket and it'll drag it right there such so a little shortcut or you could just drag it to the place you want and then drag it to the moment in time you want so now we have this footage in and we'll just shorten it to here and then we'll just bring in another angle and right there we'll just drag this to the place we want we'll just cut it using option control bracket option bracket i mean opening bracket and then we'll just end it right here now let's say you have enough footage and it goes past the 12 seconds mark because that's how long your opening footage was so by doing this little by dragging your footage into this little icon over here, like that, it makes a new comp to the exact specifications of that video. So the time might not be right. So to change the duration of your comp, you should go to comp settings, and then this is the duration, and you can make it as long as you want. Now, the way this works is this is frames, frames per second. So that usually your videos are 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second or something. The seconds here, and then minutes here, and then this is hours. So you just set it to the place you want. Um, over here, this is the viewing panel. A little tip is this is the resolution of the viewing panel. So I usually keep it low so that when I'm scrolling through, it goes like fairly quick rendering and stuff. If I don't feel it, it'll take a little longer to render each frame. Um, so yeah, that's a little tip to make it go faster. Now the preview, you can just click the space bar and it'll preview without sound. 
but it's not in real time as you might be able to see over here in the info bar not in real time and then if you want to watch it in real time you just bring it back and go to the preview and you do a RAM preview there and hold on okay you RAM preview there and it'll just render it out and wait one second while it renders and then right now it's just pre bringing it into your RAM and this will be with sound so once it's done you just watch it now with the sound and if you have sound it will have sound right now I don't have any sound on so whatever but that's basically your video and we worked with layering After Effects uses layers as you can see here so if I wanted to put some text in let's say um and that layer is on the top now and you can see it's on the top but if i take it over here and drag it to the bottom can't see it anymore and if i put it on top of this layer it'll only be on top and then it'll go under um and you can resize that also and that's how that's basically how you make text obviously i will be going into other tutorials and i will make a new tutorial on more advanced text options and stuff but basically this is just a start to after effects you imported footage you made a new comp, you layered some videos together and and just play around with everything and see where it takes you. Um, next video we will be working on next video I'll go through um, um, doing different layers with text options and stuff like that, some effects like all these effects over here that you can add to videos like just crazy stuff just to color correct and other much more and more things that we will be working on so thank you for watching this is in world captured subscribe to this channel or check out our other channel world captured thank you very much this has been this is jordan sauber see you later